Okay, here's something you don't find every day. This is a brand new, never sold Packard Bell integrated stereo system from 1968, I believe. And I think this was Packard Bell's very first integrated shelf system. This features an AM FM radio along with a four speed Girard record changer as well as auxiliary inputs on the back for a CD player which of course was non-existent in 1968 but you could plug a CD player, a cassette deck, 8 track tape deck, whatever into it and I've already cheated a little bit and unpacked some of this stuff here is the schematic diagram and parts information and as you can see this is a model RPS 02 here's the manual for the Girard record changer which is a Girard model 3000 here's another little instruction booklet that came with the receiver and here's our warranty registration card which is a as you can see is an old style punch card you can as you can see there and here are all our cables here's our FM antenna and our two speaker cables that are wrapped up and of course the plastic bag that all that paperwork came in and unfortunately the original speakers that were with this unit were had been ruined by moisture and rodents so I had to leave those behind but the stereo itself is virtually mint I have it connected right now to a couple of modern advanced speakers that are probably less than 10 years old so let's have a look at the record changer in this thing and as you can see our dust cover is in nice shape unlike most of what I find that are that's uh, scratched up and cracked and just totally nasty looking but you know with a new stereo you would expect it to look new and this one looks pretty much new okay here's the record changer a Girard 3000 automatic four speed record changer that uses a ceramic tetrad cartridge which tracks at around four and a half grams I've already removed the piece of tape that holds the tone arm in place still got the protective plastic covering over the center ring here and the lockdown screws or the transit screws are still in their up position okay we now have our transit screws turned down into the play position and as you can tell this changer is suspended on springs like most of these were and look at this thing this this changer is about as flawless as you could expect no major dirt or gunk anywhere I won't have to do much cleaning on this and here is the power cord still wrapped up and plugged into the accessory outlet back here so I tell you what let's fire this thing up and see what happens I don't I have not fired this thing up it may work flawlessly it may not work something that's been sitting in the box for 44 years I wouldn't be surprised if it needs an overhaul just like all this other old equipment that I get but at least if it does it's cosmetically nice and it'll be well worth an overhaul so let's fire this thing up and see what happens okay before we fire this up I will give you a rundown of the controls on here this is our power button this is our loudness contour switch which boosts the low and high frequencies for a more pleasant low volume listening experience here's our selector switch uh, phonograph mono phono stereo tape auxiliary input FM mono FM stereo and AM and volume balance bass treble and AFC on off and speakers in and out headphone jack and tuning control 
All right, I, like I said, I have not powered this up, so let's turn it on and see what happens for better or worse. And as you can tell, it sounds like we have some bad filter capacitors. Now the hum's going away as it warms up a little bit. Okay, our volume is turned all the way up. We're on FM stereo. And I'm getting no action whatsoever. There we go. Whoa, hold it, hold it. Saturday in Gainesville. And Kentucky has bigger issues than their loss to Florida. They have lost their quarterback, Max Smith, who's been day to day. He may play All right, both channels are working. Replacement. Morgan Newton last week threw three interceptions. Just seems this thing needs to wake up a little bit. speakers that I have this hooked up to are not are not the best speakers in the world for vintage low power stereo equipment. They really want to see more power than this thing is capable of producing so eventually I want to find some period correct speakers for this thing. Okay, let's try the phonograph and see what happens there. I'm sure this changer will be gunked up from dried grease, but let's see what happens. Okay, here's a period correct 45 RPM record that one might have played on this stereo. This is called Shiloh by Neil Diamond, and I'm going to play this for you, or should I say, attempt to play it. I wouldn't be surprised if this record player is all gunked up from just sitting up, so let's see what happens. And nothing is happening. It's totally silent, totally dead. Turn it by hand, there it goes. Okay, so this one's going to need some help. No surprise there. Okay, there you go, my new old stock 1968. Packard Bell stereo that's just been powered on for the first time. Yes, it's going to need an overhaul just like if it had been used for the past 44 years, but still it's in cosmetically near mint condition and it's well worth the effort. And this will be a much better quality piece than any of this modern reprodu reproduction junk that people pay too much for. Okay, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll make another video of this whenever it's in full operating condition. Thanks, and more to come later.